uh, any one of you can just tell me why this life span psychology is very important do you have any idea because you, have, you might have read the books if somebody can unmute and speak to me those who are confident during the entire life span uh, there is difference in growth and development and in, in different stages uh, there are uh, along with the physiological changes definitely there are changes in the psychological aspects of the human being okay fine i think that is the relevance okay fine now the importance is that as far as a psychologist is concerned i am sure nobody would answer the particular point that is anybody coming to coming before you anybody let it be a small child of one year or lkg or a teenager adolescent i um, mean or a married person uh, i mean a person in the 50s 60s or uh, geriatrics that means after 60 and all that very old person the whole thing whichever person comes to you he is certainly in certain slot of development certain period of time so this is the importance of this, the mpc whoever comes all these theories are applicable and the, throughout the life you need to practice it you have to be by heart with the most of the theories because um the theoretical work uh, uh, is done in western psychology and like uh, that in india for example though even though you do not know malayalam i will explain that that is balyam yavanam kaumaram vartakyam or purushartha that means it is divided into four stages or six stages like that so usually the four stages but it is not refreshed much but in psychology life span psychology is refreshed by many people and all the theories are relevant that is why this is very complicated and another problem with the your uh, uh, text is that your uh, nodes of igno is that it is done with a different a purpose of examination point that is a particular age period what which what are the what all the things that the theorist is telling so it is bifurcated at different places in your notes so to be comfortable and to able able to memorize for example i think uh, most of you would have uh, attended uh, Uh, MPC zero one cognitive psychology. So, do can anybody is confident uh, can tell me uh, what you mean by memory? Sir, we are recording. Uh, we are uh, marking the attendance sir, actually. Okay, fine. No, that let it. Uh, but meanwhile, if anybody can give an answer, what exactly you mean by encoding? Then it is actually I am uh, telling now because I don't want to spend time much. I uh, will be covering this portion also. Uh, it is encoding storing retrieving it is so somebody is disturbing please mute the encoding storing and retrieving this portion also i will be covering at least in my video don't worry in the class i may not get much time but you see you should understand i told you in the beginning itself just a few minutes back that as far as uh, you are psychology study in development psychology is concerned you have to by heart each and every concept you cannot forget it because like a medical doctor uh, he is prescribing the medicine he has to memorize everything the person who comes before you will be in a particular age group so what are the expected standards of understanding for that person at that particular period you should be aware so i am going to class start my class uh, with uh, uh, ppt so please try to understand that uh, i may be slow today in this class because i wanted to discuss lot of things the complications in this so uh, let me switch over to the uh, 
pay pay pay. Can you see the screen now? Yes, sir. Okay. Then I'll be reading it out and discussing. In between, I'll be just asking you whether uh, because then at that time you have, somebody has to respond because I wanted to know whether you are listening to it or any net communication problem is that that we can't understand. So at least now you can see me also, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, yes, now, yes, now, yes, sir. now I I will be just reading out. and it is a uh, little boring because i am trying to tell the problems in studying the psychology this particular paper so you have to understand in deep because otherwise what will happen no like in any other course you will be studying this paper and you will be simply passing out to the examination you most of you will pass no doubt otherwise also you may get even good marks also but the thing is that you will forget that's what i told you See, encoding, storing, and retrieving in this particular paper is little difficult because uh, it is right from in utero to graveyard till death. So all these stages, so a child, small child is coming, then the schooling, academics is very very important, and no advice is expected. So a student is coming with academic problem, uh, no meaning in uh, telling the memory techniques that will help to some extent. but you must be able to deal the child with the psychological matters the growth and development issues and as well as you must be thorough with at least few of the topics uh, in many papers then only you will be able to attend the child so the child may have a lot of pampering spoiling issues so these things are dealt in Psychological theories in the other purpose. For example, MPC theory three. Next year you will be studying the Alfred Adler theory. So all these theories you have to link with that of the MPC two. So MPC two you can say it's a core of the subject. You will require <coughs> to uh, link this with the medical science because when a child is brought, even the medical doctor might not have thought the problem. So it is your burden. so you should have very good knowledge so let me read out first uh, sometimes the questions will be uh, what is the difference between growth and development or write a short note on growth and development or short essay then you should understand so i am trying to uh, give you in a capsule form so growth and development means quantitative versus qualitative so growth is always quantitative development is always qualitative So in PG teaching, qualitative is the primary requirement. Physical development, quantitative is spread in the materials, or just literature. Not teaching is required. That's right. I'll be sending most of my time with regard to the qualitative development of an individual. Expect, for example, uh, Erickson's theory. So purely a qualitative work. so quantitative work at what age what shall be the height that simple literature i will not be covering at all anything regard to this quantitative there is something that most of you know the exact reading everything measurements that is available in the text i don't have to spend that much time on this so i like got a lot of uh, measurements there so all these things that anybody can understand so however the particular in utero physical development that i will be covering today itself because uh, in uh, in utero development at what age for example uh, uh, many students uh, females sitting in this class uh, maybe mothers if i am just asking uh, even uh, medical doctors may be there in the available but they may not, may not be clear so i am just asking by one one and a half months uh, pregnancy time I mean, when a mother is carrying by one and a half months or one, uh, some five months, five to eight weeks, one one and a half months or five to eight weeks, what shall be the size of the embryo, baby? Can anybody say? If when a mother is uh, carrying by one one and a half months. What shall be size of the baby? Three hundred micrograms. 
no, no, no. size you can say if you can say the size by inch or centimeter uh, six inch one and a half it is a uh, size size of a small seed six to seven mm all seed it is one six to seven mm okay one tenth of an inch but you should understand mm -hmm. the brain has started working all this that's what i'm telling though i will not be covering the conjugative area i'll be covering the in utero development in detail so wait and see so various other physical development ex utero or otherwise spread throughout the study material which is just literature please read and understand so in another thing that is as is continuity versus discontinuity so the thing is that uh, the continuity versus discontinuity the theories various theories have particularly marked it as see 0 to 1.5 what shall be the physical and mental and psychological development then growth and development 1.5 to 3 3 to 6 likewise so why how why this can be a discontinuity why this required this can that compartmentalization is uh, possible but these are the assumptions but it has got lot and lot and lot of relevance because when you study the piaget's theory you will come to know that uh, 0 to 2 years 2 to 7 years so here what he intends at that time i will be discussing more on that whether a child is capable of achieving the required the expected development at the age of 2 itself or at the age of 6 or 7 I mean that can that can go to that level, but there are people who achieves at the first extreme, two extremes, not beginning and ending extreme. Some people attain this in the beginning itself. So that means that is why you might have heard uh, in U.S. and uh, in Indian students can also write such examination. Some of our students' children, after assimilating these techniques. Applied uh, and uh, ninth standard uh, to U.S. examination, uh, they could get uh, complete the graduation by fifteen, sixteen years. So at the age of twenty-one, a uh, um, uh, daughter of our student was doing uh, PhD. So what I'm trying to tell you is that these theories are having that much relevance. So that is why continuity versus discontinuity means. it is a continuous development no doubt about it but for the convenience of study that means if a child is ex can achieve a particular skills at the age of 2 or till by the time the child reaches 7 but the child even after 7 if the child is not attain attaining means there will be a developmental lag i am uh, very sorry to tell you that and i am proud to say that we used to conduct uh, theory classes to you in the university hall in a beautiful building we have at the kalur and uh, when we were taking classes it was much better than the regular colleges I mean full time college that is why that much admissions are coming to kochi center so but at that time actually we used to conduct the practical examinations of inel and the social maturity scale so at that time you can really relate and relate this that is a child who should well, you may ask oh, what is the problem a child is supposed to um, attain uh, some development by the age of 5 the child did not what is the problem there are problem when we are discussing this particular theory three theories plus other there is also i'll be covering whichever i am not able to cover don't have to worry i'll be sending you the video uh that with that you will be clear and you can come to my whatsapp and uh, ask any question there's no issue so another is the stability of any behavior versus change of it this are all related to the trait theories you would have already studied a trait trait theory type theory etc that's right this uh, developmental psychology paper you have to link all your knowledge with that of the development psychology then only you can be a good practitioner then comes the nature versus nurture sometimes 
for the examination uh, you may be getting uh, a very short question only on nature versus nurture sometimes essay is also asked but you should understand this is a very very relevant uh, concept as far as a psychologist is concerned so you have to study this in detail so one of the uh, established uh, definitions of psychology itself is that it's a study on individual differences individual differences why thousand people or one lakh people one lakh people are different so here comes the importance of nature versus nurture that also i'll be give it taking extensively today because at least by end of this class you must be able to change your behavior itself by assimilating the concept of nature and nurture then the uh, in development psychology 3.8 point that is cognitive development in fancy basis of piaget's theory throughout must understand the concept of cognition that is right uh, i don't know uh, whether uh, though you have sat with the class especially the online classes we too have limitation you too have limitation at least someone of you can tell me what did you understand by cognition can anybody just turn me out and tell what is cognition cognition is a process of perceiving then it's a process of uh, perceiving perception. something perception okay. Okay. Uh, then uh, related uh no. learning learning memory and intelligent okay intelligent. thank you at least you could respond to me but the thing is that you you have to understand the cognition in a, an entirely different way this also i'll be discussing today so then you will be very clear about what exactly is the cognition because you have to study the cognitive development theory of uh, piaget also you need to study the cognitive behavior therapy that is apex of all therapies in psychology in the next year so then linguistic development here phonology semantics the grammar pragmatics etc must be understood in a different way why i invite you to all this class i am i'm sure all of you cannot uh, enter into the class that is why with purposely i will be sending a separate video for those who can listen and uh, respond to me i am very happy so hence included under ld discussions is second session connecting your second two behavioral theory studied in mpc3 because you studied mpc3 i tell you by the time you i complete all this uh, you will be able to memorize points from other papers so mpc3 uh, you have studied uh, two behavioral theories based on this <coughs> how this linguistic development phonology semantics grammar pragmatics must be understood differently because the learning memory everything and also the behavioral uh, i mean uh, there are uh, different reinforcements the effect of reinforcements with that of uh, linguistic development so the all the theories are relevant in, in the treat this to treat the same so all these problems of the uh, learning issues of the children because most of your clients will be having behavioral issue learning issue so you need to study because uh, the energy of a child is not properly utilized in academics because child may not be having enough knowledge in phonology semantics so all these things will be discussed then the stages of development like that short mentioned throughout the material usually also but see unless a student by heart the least in, uh, at least the important theories few theories <coughs> psychosexual theory psychosocial theory cognitive theory all these things i am not uh, wasting time now because when i take classes on this particular day there is a third fourth and fifth classes i will be including all this so under the mental retardation you have to study this under point 4.4 page 51 of your Uh, note the copy available with me. I don't know much. There cannot be much changes with the copy that I am having and you are having. 
maybe because of the single book that you received there could be some uh, differences in the page numbers but uh, you can definitely get the subheadings so that just mention the chromosomal disorders i will to cover all this development disorders in detail because nowadays uh, this is very very relevant because when you are getting a job when you go for an interview and they are asking uh, about uh, autism or uh, microcephaly hydrocephaly or then you will not be able to understand so with that idea i'll be covering much more than what is expected to be covered you don't have to worry in 10 in 10 uh, hours i'll be covering all those so why this development domains are complex i'm going to be uh, to, i'm moving fast domains of human development the domains of development are can be uh, categories used by the scientists the categories include physical cognitive and social development that's a cognition is very very important because with a minimum cognition we uh, are without minimum cognition no process is possible so that is the importance of intelligence and how understand how they understand i mean if they are understanding in a different way that is why 100 people they will be understanding it that's why we should have an academics career even psychology if 100 psychologists are telling 100 answers it is not fair there can be 100 ways of solving the problem but at least you should understand the root cause so the base, the physical domain is characterized by how humans grow and change physically at at all stages of development especially during childhood and adolescence so when the physical changes are maximum this domain includes how humans view the world so that's what as development progresses as a result of physical growth here physical development is wrong that's a printing mistake so there's a growth and development issue so growth is always physical change and uh, development uh, is a qualitative change psychological domain focus on adjustment of individual that's why when you did your practical this time uh, that's why you know you should appreciate you know within even within this limitation when many universities are skipping things like this we try to uh, teach you Uh, practical through online so in that igno specifically uh, selected certain things so the adaptation the gardener still again uh, the other all intelligence theories when we study the standard theory so when when we thought what is the importance of adjustment with in relation to covid so that is why adjustment is a process which is essential for survival of the organism organism so here is the importance of learning in the childhood to adolescence so it's a, it's an introductory part itself i'm taking this much time for you to invite to the importance of this without studying this in depth you cannot be a psychologist whatever the other knowledge that you make in social psychology or the psychology general psychology so i mean the secondary general the same uh, or personality development theory statistics and uh, research unless or as you know the minimum requirement uh, expected to a child uh, the society will ruin so you should understand the importance of this uh, adjustment is also required as a child grows up to learn to eat on its own eliminate as is required and not as child wishes so what is the importance of development why the child should be allowed to develop by himself or the child should be taught strictly whether the freedom is to be given everything you can understand only through understanding the theory of eric erikson so that is why i am telling you must be so alert i will uh, help you throughout your studies absolutely you don't have to worry So adjustment to self, others, and environment are important. That's right. Why I take uh, I'll take a certain area from your uh, personality theories because the environment is very very important in child's development. So success leads to healthy adjustment, while failure leads to maladjustment. So adjustment is a very important thing. Adaptation intelligence, adaptive intelligence that uh, we have uh, we did. Uh, 
in relation to your practical. So cognitive domain focuses on learning, attention, perception, memory, lot and lot and lot of things. As somebody answered, I'm proud that our students are at learning things, even when it is through online. But uh, the exact cognition through a picture, I will be able to explain to you. I'll come in with that later. The manner in which the learning takes place and how the child makes progress in school concept of development, growth and development, lifespan perspective, methods of studying development and characters of development, prenatal, infancy and early childhood and home are of great importance to child growth and development. So how this competence of cognitive domain functions and improves indicates the progress to childhood. That's right. When a child is growing, child is interacting with many, many people, uh, uh, while in the womb, uh, the child is interacting with the mother through her thoughts. That everything we will discuss. So, cognitive domain. Now, it is very, very important that you know, with the uh, neuroscience uh, department of Cochin University, he is campaigning on dementia. You will all, you will also be invited for various programs in association with the Cochin University once the COVID is over. The social domain contains adjustment and variables with social situation. That's it, social psychology. That is what I'm telling. All these theories, all the purpose are included in the lifespan psychology. I hope you are clear now. Uh, did you say, I just gave you only the introduction by this time. Almost half an hour I took. Uh, there was a problem with entering to this group. Uh, are you clear about why the why uh, this uh, studies in uh, development psychology, lifespan psychology is very, very, very important? Are you clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Now, now let me begin with the other push. So I am coming to tell you with a begin the after the introduction. I am going to begin the class with a story. If you don't know the course, you get instructional paradigms built on faulty assumptions. So the meaning is that unless or else you know the right solution, actually in psychology, though you are not expected to advise, is this an area that uh, child's development? So the minimum suggestions that you will be able to give, and if you know the now, if you have the knowledge. That is why, if you don't know the course, you get instructional paradigms built on faulty assumptions. That's why I'm to, I'm to explain this particular sentence. I'm bringing a small story, this I'll be covering in the video also, so that uh, all the students can get this knowledge. Now, my dear friends, say for example, in your house or throughout your life, you have only one hammer that you know hammer just, just as an iron piece not that even that the grip to remove the to, to, to take away the nail you have a hammer just an iron piece with a bar to hold it think that you don't have any other tool throughout your life or in your family what you have is only an iron bar with a wooden bar to hold it. You don't have even the groove grip uh, uh, to pull out the nail. Suppose you want to fix it on a wall, well cemented brick wall. What will happen? You won't be able to do it because when you try to uh, put it, it will come back because the wall is so strong. So somehow, because since you have got only that tool, what you will do? You will again and again try with the same hammer and different nails because nails may fly off when you try. Finally, somehow you will fix it. But another day, you wanted to remove it. Say, remember, you have only one tool, one single tool. That is with a piece of hammer and a wooden bar. It do not have that uh, particular groove to pull it out. So what you will do from different angles, uh, you will be pressurizing on the 
nail and by widening the hole you will pull it out another day suppose you want to turn it i mean you want to curve it to give give another direction to the nail still you don't have the tool you have the only the old one the old single tool so you will be somehow hitting and changing the direction so that's what i'm telling and now you come to the solution that is suppose you had a drill a drill to make some room on the wall so you just drill it spot it then the tough portion of the cement and uh, uh, brick will get removed you can simply drill that uh, drive that uh, uh, nail to the wall and the day as i said you want to pull it out suppose you had a, uh, a crowbar like uh, uh, apparatus extension to the bar, to the hammer you can simply pull it out by giving a spacer uh, using that crowbar type uh, hammer and the day actually we wanted to uh, turn it so suppose there's a crimping tool that we can cut which can cut the half of the nail and we can bend it so this this what if you don't know that's why i'm reading out this page don't know the course you get instruction to paradise built on faulty assumption you did not know whether there is a tool or not what i said you have only one tool you do not How know what there is another tool so naturally naturally you will be using this somebody is disturbing please sound that right A place we have to be approach first the path by bringing us out. Oma is not. Uh, Oma, when Oma is there, she is not muting the mics. Let me take some water. Because such an interesting class, don't disturb the class. Because that much pain rehearsal are we are taking to cover the classes. So, my dear friends. so if you do not know the availability of another tool how will you help the clients are you clear now why this is uh, the psychology studies my i beg before my students because whether you might have taken including phd even medical doctors are there but i am try trying to convince you unless we study the psychology in such uh, all the subjects including the assessment neurology statistics everything is relevant uh, because uh, you may otherwise get uh, i mean just a copying what others say but if you have got an idea of the assessment neurology statistics you will not believe uh, the false uh, statements so you should have enough knowledge if you have got knowledge that means if you are not even aware about the tools available in the world to resolve the problems of uh, patients the clients how will you help so it is very easy by making knowledge you will be able to help for example in learning issues the marital issues when marital issues comes if you simply advise the the couple that's all dalman psychology will come to know about this it while we discuss the uh freudian theory as well as that of uh, erickson's theory so marriage marital issues how to resolve it so simply giving advice it won't help sometimes you may require anatomy physiology knowledge the the hormonal issues the secretions pheromones lot of things are there all this we will be covering by end of second year because we have got limited time only because as you know in a regular college full time college 80 hours instruction is there for one paper but where are we are we are getting only 10 hours instruction for a paper so did you understand the, the story I, i told you now yes sir yes sir yes sir let us proceed so i am dr p jayachandran i am academic counselor in uh, you know Uh, actually, I was a government servant. Uh, parallelly, I was working with you know for last twelve uh, years. Prior to that, I was with the Bharatiya University. I retired from fertilizers uh, secretariat for fact uh, 
ഒരു ഉദ്യോഗമണ്ഡലം ആസ് എൻ എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് ഓഫീസർ ചെയർമാൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാറുള്ളി സോ ആസ് ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ദി നേച്ചർ നർച്ചർ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് So, what exactly is the nature is called the genetic wiring? I mean, the zygote, as you know, is formed by, as contributed by the father, by sperm, and egg by mother. So, uh, here, uh, let me uh, ask you still, let me answer, because I don't want to spend time. Uh, we will not have time. So, I just am asking a question. How many chromosomes that you got under repair? In a chromosome, what all things you have? Neurable, neurable genes. So, this is uh, zygote XX and XY. That all you know. So, female and uh, male. So, what is this uh, combination of 23 plus 23 years... Uh, joined it together the first cell the zygote is developed so that is the importance of this nature i mean heredity usually the cloning everything is that it is not available to the common public usually when genetic is there no change is possible so then why is psychology that is why if you learn half it is better not to study psychology because there are theories which uh, states proves that forget about the nature genetics because something that is over is past so what is nurture i will again try to uh, question and question and answer both i will give there's no other way in, in the mother's womb it is as you know this nine months Nine months, nine days. It's actually ten months according to the uh, Bharatiya calendar, based on the stars. So that is why ten months is also correct. But uh, they, since we follow internationally the Western science, uh, we fix it to nine months. So the first cell formed in the mother's womb, resulting from the contribution of father's sperm and contribution of mother's egg, permanent. but there is the nurture that takes place uh, from the mother's womb itself maybe in your text you write examination purely based on your text and available books but the further research has taken from mahabharata that is uh, the story on chakravyuha as well as uh, the story of luke in bible that is the baby was uh, leaping in the mother's womb on listening that the person baptized baptized is to be born and many of these people uh, you will be knowing so it was hepar institute ireland hepar institute ireland took all these stories and uh, made a lot of researches in this so what they did is by from fourth month of pregnancy to sixth month of pregnancy they recorded the songs the talks uh, jogs sounds of the mother and through ultrasound it when it was made to hear to the embryo baby inside the mother in utero the baby was responding smiling etc so the brain development takes place within one month itself by four months did my that all these slides i'll be showing today so because i can save time some time when i'm showing the slide you can read out what is given aside that is the purpose of detailing now so by fourth month itself the child can listen that means growth it takes place in the mother's womb itself five faculties that is the mother the child can listen the child can see the horizon the womb is a horizon for the child so it can listen hear it can see movement and the, again the cognitive development everything is taking place in the 
and taste this also coming because at a time that the amniotic fluid is taken uh, for breathing so taste is also understood by the child so you, uh, the only limitation is that uh, we cannot uh, explain in the class offline so we are trying to um, the first year students i am giving this paper in full video also so don't have to worry that uh, you will be clear after but many times you have to listen to that many times you have to read me all these books connect all your other subjects to abc2 so once the baby comes out it continues the learning with the primary caregivers peers society and so on see how beautiful it is the nature it is as contributed by the sperm and the egg so the uh, nurture is taking place from the mother's womb it's maybe in your text said the nurture is short after birth but it is not so but when you write the examination either you convince this or you write whatever available in your book once the baby comes out it continues the learning with primary caregivers peer society and so on so in short the nurture ends only in the grave that's what i told you in the beginning the life span is right from the mother's womb as a zygote to grave it hope you are clear are you clear about the concept about the nature and nurture yes. somebody understand yes yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes yes so now i told you just by learning this concept today onwards you must be able to develop certain behavior why the puzzle is that if every one in this world every one in this world is nature and nurture from their parents they got as egg and sperm and they got nurtured from the mother's womb when came out mixed and mingled with the many people in the society and today it's again with uh, around 100 students directly i am um, uh, becoming a part of your nurture because you are getting certain new concepts so the nurturing ends only in the graveyard if if everyone in the world if not only if it is true that everyone in this world is a combination of nature and nurture so when you do a crime an illegal thing police may punish you court may jail you everything i agree but the question is if everyone in this world is nature and nurture i'm just asking a logic my dear friends my dear students that can you find fault in others can just answer me can we find fault in others if everyone is a part of nature and nurture as detailed by me now understood by you just somebody answer can we find fault in others no 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 sir that is what internal locus of control no, versus external locus of control one practical was there no? so that why when i was taking the class i was um, i mean reiterating the importance of internal locus of control so internal locus of control means i take the responsibility of my life okay lot of things are and social things are but it's also a part of nature and nurture either through genetics or uh, through nurture the development took place the environment so i hope you are very clear now about the importance of which is a very concept sometimes we believe at least by the end of this year at least by onam uh, the next year we will be able to interact in pass so my dear friends now you just to see the three pictures when a person next year also i'll be coming with the counseling also i'll be using this particular of particular pictures either in the clinical or in counseling paper one paper i'll be taking so you see these three pictures when a client is coming to you the first picture is showing equal like and equal dislike the second picture is uh, with full of dislike sadness but the third one is almost happy face i mean little sorrow everybody will have that's why you just think when a family counseling is taken up 
the couple are at the verge of uh, divorce or when a student adolescent is placed poor in academics behavioral issues punished from school uh, from house domestic as well as by the society the child is very sad including social tendencies there our purpose my dear friends my dear students is that to see that yeah, our clients are going out in the with the third picture face are you clear so that is the purpose of this learning cycle the great subject psychology you can make your clients you yourself happy even by understanding this concept just i just now i discussed find no fault in others you can be happy you for you take a take a decision that so everyone in the world is nature and nurture at least let me not take find fault in others so these are uh, again discussed uh, written now i'm just to show you the picture that i have been discussing with you now just carefully watch it the pictures are clear to you yes sir yes sir okay so yes. i won't be talking much you read and understand again we are all i am giving starting with this uh with a particular idea that developmental psychology is a area that you will be studying for the purpose of the developmental issue of a child either in academics or in other behavioral developments so that is why each and every word when you studied the memory techniques so you would have learned that without understanding the meaning you cannot memorize you would have read it sometime in cognitive psychology so this is the importance of why it is written prenatal pre means before so somebody would wonder if i am asking you a question if i ask you a question what is preposition most of you will say it is uh, at uh, in uh, among towards no it is actually preposition something that is to be positioned before a word that is preposition likewise you know in psychology <coughs> there is no specific beard actually no there are beard for special education psychology is such a vast subject that if you make a mistake how can you correct your children in academics so pre before natal relating to birth so that's your preposition likewise the word meaning that's why i'm telling you all the papers of the first year also coming second year papers first year as i said all the six papers are equally relevant because the memory is discussed the importance of meaning meaningful uh, words uh, meaningless stimulus all these things uh, you would have well, because there's a memory test also unfortunately uh, we cannot uh, show all these things to you but in my practical I mean, in my session of the video i'm covering that also so this is what uh, i told you about uh, the cognition now you just think about the first picture that is stimulus response a cylindric a cylinder everything i am covering in the video also but i as i told you unless otherwise you cover sit in the class and interact but all the students cannot get only 100 students are allowed what to do so our limitations of our platform now the cognition part is different through a story i can tell you why this is different suppose you have got a pet you entertain the pet because the, this pet is so great to you you even feed the pet in the visitors room but slowly you understand that the pet is making the area a mess it's dirty and it's shameful for you to invite the guests what will you do all the family members suppose four family members are there in the house or six family members all of you take a decision we won't give food to this pet whatever name you call 
in the visitors room now onwards what you will do you will serve the food only at the the back of the kitchen or so or some of the other isolated places how will you train the dog you will train the pet by calling the pet with the food slowly the pet will understand that it want to get food at the old place and it will certainly search for food in the new place shown by you so this is exactly here the stimulus response is just a learning is nothing but a learning no cognition no thought is applied so in the case of uh, cognition when the stimulus the second picture that is half circle when the stimulus is coming the stimulus is assessed with the senses and assimilated with the brain and respond so you will be studying i think you would have already studied many theories in the personality theories you will come to know what is uh, what is uh, the clinian the clinian thread melanie clean and all that maybe you may be new to all this unless or is study the whole subject of psychology for the mother surrogate like why certain conditions are there that you are fixed you are biased just because that is my your mother or that is preoccupied prejudices for you us so all this you cannot understand this stimulus assess with your senses because it's blocking you are learning your affinity you since you are biased you are one sided sidelined so at that time also cognition won't work so in the second year cognitive behavioral therapy that i'll be taking in any case whether it is a clinical or a counseling i'll be covering that at that i will come to understand what are the the cognitive biases one cognitive bias you studied what is that the practical cognitive bias halo effect yes yeah. exactly thank you at least there is a result for our efforts and uh, there are other cognitive barriers there are other six barriers uh, many other barriers and cognitive biases that uh, you will be studying the next day so we, whatever blocks your cognition then uh, that's the difference between the cylinder and the half circle so cognition when whenever a thought is coming to you that is to treat it as a stimulus you have to assess with your senses assimilate the brain and respond that exactly is the cognition so it related to it is related to your memory intelligence your knowledge education lot to many okay now all this you are supposed to though it is not discussed in detail in the your text you are supposed to study all this so again now i told you the cognition how the cog cognition as you said knowledge awareness intelligence memory personality trait everything is involved in the cognition now though this much detailing pictureization is not there in your text you are supposed to learn all this because or some of these things will be asked sometime not exactly this way sometimes something in the male reproductive system so in the cognitive behavioral therapy and in the cognition why the knowledge is important as this particular portion is covered because for you to my beginning is nothing but you should understand each and every terminology for example you are asked suppose uh, a client is brought to you husband and wife and a husband and wife i am i'm trying to apply what is the cognition so because the cognitive behavioral therapy of the study 
the uh, priyash's cognition you have to study without uh, to understand that your own knowledge in psychology by expanding the psychological knowledge to that of a medical doctor how can you help your clients or if you simply read your psychology books and write the examination you won't be able to solve the problem for example a couple is brought to you or a couple is coming with uh, their parents parents in law the issue is that i'm not going in detail suppose it were in an offline class i would have now the end portion i'm telling now the there is an issue that whether the, the there is only one child each in both family male and female and uh, when there was one abortion the both were very rich educated family education is academic sorry but much concerned about their children both family now the uh, when there was an abortion already they had two children the parents of the female insisted that since they are to have only one girl and their two children she has to look after so again going for a tubectomy getting admitted in the hospital is troublesome let the male go for vasectomy so the the issue is that both people came with the parents and the parents of the male the husband is telling that usually the females are doing it let actually a case came to me let the male go for vasectomy it is simple now the male was also reluctant so you just tell me by studying psychology alone but suppose you study this psychology in bc2 reproductive system of male and female in detail you can easily solve this problem now can you just somebody tell me why the male is not willing to go for vasectomy can anybody tell even medical doctors may be available in this group can anybody tell why the male is reluctant to go for uh, vasectomy Yeah, they have a person that is doing vasectomy. It will affect future uh, marital life. Exactly, marital life and sexual uh, power. All these things are there. Now you just see the picture. In the vasectomy, you what you should understand. You should know the reproductive system. Now the male reproductive system, female reproductive system, to be little bit bit. It is mentioned in your book. you are not supposed to study this not alone you are supposed to study many things from net many established site especially the scholar sites you have to read many many books you should acquire more much more knowledge than a medical doctor now i'm telling you see this the the liquid that comes out of the male reproductive system this say the penis it contains the sperm the semen that is why the prostate gland you can see the prostate is giving the white color with this uh, that particular solution is giving adding to the solution is the white color by the prostate gland seminal vesicle is providing the semen and the testes is giving the sperm it is connected from the testes and from the semen and from the prostate gland you can see a junction a white junction you can see when uh, the pleasure is at the climax the hypothalamus turns it together assembles it together and all the three things are coming to the junction and ejaculate now in vasectomy you can see a line a tube like a vast difference only this vast difference is cut or punctured so that the sperm won't reach the junction when the sperm won't reach the junction when ejaculation the sperm won't be seen are you clear yes sir that, uh, yes sir Okay, fine. So that means 
uh, even by as you know the sperms maybe that could be crores of or lakhs of sperms in one ejaculation but you can you should understand that with the naked eye you can't see the sperm so whether it's a uh, prior to vasectomy or after the vasectomy there cannot be any difference in what is coming out that way also there is no reason for any stress but you, you have to study more because why you have to study more in this matter this was enough well, so the um, parents of the male the husband everybody were got convinced she he, he was ready to go for a vasectomy so this is the contribution a psychologist can do it is one of my cases that came to me just because uh, we had the knowledge we could spare otherwise what will you do suppose so you are male oriented you would support the male if you are female oriented you would support the female so the psychologists cannot be like that that's why cognition through knowledge understanding you must be able to do counseling in a better way and also there could be uh, confusions with regard to so since sir said uh, um, the, all the three are coming out uh, uh, even pre ejaculation also sometimes carrying takes place that also brings lot of confusions in the family especially in the beginning of the life because they ejac uh, before ejaculation uh, the penis is taken out but the sperm it is a living thing inside the body without this uh, prostate liquid as well as the seminal uh, semen uh, sometimes out of lots of sperms one may come out and there is a reason for carrying out but once vasectomy is done Uh, this chance of uh, pregnancy is very, very, very less. I hope you are clear what is the importance of uh, cognition. Without knowledge, you cannot assimilate things. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Again, I am not uh, talking much about this. Is also again I am covering. I am also tired because I have to cover lot more. and uh, again with regard to the menstruation also there are lot of uh, cultural religious issues are there uh, you have to study this in my video you will be uh, listening to this more now just see the development this all we discussed already okay, this is again lack of cognition suppose a female is giving birth consecutively for two times uh, the wife delivered a female child and the third time they tried then also the wife delivered only a female child normally who will be blamed in our society even in our educated society female only females male female now you just see what is written x x is girl x y is boy female can give in any case only x isn't it yeah so the, what does it mean so female can only give only x so how the female can be blamed then the parents of the female might even ask it's a joke i'm telling but it's a true if you explain these things to the parents of the female that the female is innocent on this she is innocent she can give only x then that parents might even ask or the society might ask why she didn't catch the y of the boy <laughs> what do you feel so this is our society hope uh, you are clear why the cognition is more important knowledge is more important are yes, you sir. can i proceed yes sir yes yes sir so this is the all these things are mentioned in your book so all this uh, i may not get time to because what is placenta sometimes umbilical cord will be asked as a short note or placenta will be asked all these are um, explaining this you can very easily understand this is what i was asking you 5 to 8 week 1/10th of an inch only but yet Uh, this much uh, organelles that is um, an organ structures are developed in the body 
in the scan you can see that sport arrow see look even at uh, one one and a half months this much development is taking place in the brain you don't have to jock on it because you know the, the smallest to the tiniest uh, organelle is even the organisms when you block they move why because even with a little brain they can <coughs> so lot of things are taking place in the brain right from the mother womb so i was telling that because the further studies will come to know the nurture is taking from the mother's womb itself so further developments are there bones are replaced the cartilage second trimester now you carrying of course the second trimester means after three months by fourth month see the begins to hear baby begins to hear so it's a most important period for the mother mother should be happy always why the mother should be happy all these are explained here need not have to i need not to talk much on this so all this 13 to 16 weeks all these are in your text also why this development even at tri second trimester the development is very little why because uh, organs are not independently started growing throughout there's still now one inch only but fast growth will be there by after 20 weeks that's the fourth month third trimester then it's called the age of viability sometimes will be asked age of viability why it is age of viability is because by entering to a third trimester okay my dear students this is another important area that you have to study are you listening to me yes sir yes, yes, yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. this is very important why because uh, you would have uh, read and uh, heard that uh, the preterm babies so sometimes uh, due to high bp etc through cesarean the child the delivery takes place even after 6 months that is a third trimester when 6 months are over just immediately after 6 months also after scanning and all that the doctor decides whether the child can be taken out because it will be fatal either for the mother or for the baby continuation of this pregnancy now you should understand why this age of viability is very important that's the importance of cognition again if you don't have knowledge there will be a lot of problems because a child is brought to you maybe in the teens and the parents are telling that the child is a preterm baby delivery took place uh, even before 8 months even at the 7th month so that is why my son is not intelligent that is wrong totally wrong 100% wrong whatever brain development that would have taken place after 9 months such a brain development is taken place by on completion of age of viability by 6 months so the doctor finally decides the measure everything through scanning ultrasound and all that they understand then only the delivery takes place so please try to understand that when the parents are telling even the psychologist is having not no knowledge in it what the psychologist will do psychologist will also join with the parents so yeah, that could be the reason then that reinforcement theory that you studied so reinforcement theory means uh, skinner and theory so every time the child is also learning 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 what i am not intelligent because i was preterm that's wrong whatever development that takes place after 9 months that already took place by 6 months finally the doctor decides then only the delivery takes place but uh, what uh, that's why the body's memory what is kept in the mind of the parents is that the doctors would have advised the parents we must be careful till tolius especially during the early period of development 
the child, the, the many hands should not handle the main, many hands should not handle the baby. Different temperatures of the caregivers might give problems. So the child is always in isolation. So why the doctor is telling this? The brain has developed, agree, but lung development takes place only on completion of almost eight and a half months. Yes. So when that is, that is the reason why the doctors are threatening because doctors are worried about the life expectancy of the baby. So what is the threat to the, that is why they, the parents are threatened by the doctors, not for the child development. But the parents cannot understand that. That's why psychologists should have very good knowledge about the subject. I hope uh, you are more clear about why you should make enough knowledge in various things. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Now, six months. So that is why the child may be uh, like a big rat. A lot rat you see, maybe weighing only very less than what is required. But the sense of brain development is complete. No issue in the development stages. So this is one. In even in this position, we all that is why we should respect, remember our mother. The Mother's Day was very recently, uh, May 10th, you know. So you should know all these uh, stages, all of you, all of us have come through. So week by week also, I'm just showing the picture. See, by almost 25 week, By almost the 18th week, baby comes down, he sits in this position. Yogasana. Now, after 27 week, usually uh, it is ulta, ulta position, ready to take the birth. By 40. So this is what all these stages. So now it is very clear gynecology department is there, they know everything. But our forefathers also knew about it. Though I am not a singer, I just wanted to show this particular contribution by Shankaracharya and the Matra Panchakam, a particular sloka only. So I am just reading it out. I'm not, uh, may not be melodious. Astam tavadiyam prasudi samaye durvara shula vedha nairuchyam tanishoshanam malamayi shayya jo samval sari yeka siya pina garpha bara bharna klesha siya siya kshano dadum nishpradi munnado abhitanaya sthasi janani namaha. So this is what. When uh, without losing the meaning in the scan stage, Kodungulur Kunjikutan Tabran has translated this to Malayalam. Now you'll be very clear about the value of the motherhood. Milkate petu no vin katha, Vijikurayam kala meharam chadapum, Poikote kuti denda, Malamadiluru kalam kidakum kidapum, No kumbo garbhamakum. Valiya chuma dedukkunna din kooli poolim Pirkavalla yatra yogyan maganu madu nilek tullo rammi tullunne Shankaracharya actually holding his hands turning around his mother was praising the mother How many of this is an opportunity the nature nurture concepts It's an opportunity that's why I want you to have enough change in your thoughts why we should not respect others? Every mother in this world, every lady in this world, because the great birth. So that's what uh, we studied now, right from the mother's womb, that is from one gram to by 40 weeks or nine and a half months, nine months, it is 
for uh, 10 month in malayalam calendar including the amniotic fluid the mother weighs for four and a half kg day by day so that is why it's called prasudhi samaye durvara shula vetha that is why nilkatte petuno ven katha ruchi kurayam kalam eram chatam forget about the pain that of delivery why because pain of delivery once it is desired to have a baby the mother is supposed to bear it then poikotte kootideenda malamadil oru kollam kidakkum kidap that means nairucham tanushoshanam malamayi shayyacha sambals that means when the mother has to remove the toxin of the baby that is why there could be edema swelling on the body or the color change in the mother's body all these things also poikotte nairucham tanushoshanam mother may be vomiting throughout may not be able to take food but he is telling the third line ekasya pina think about only one thing ekasya pina garbha bhara bharana klesasya syaksham ella kshamicham uh, tolerating all the pain discomforts that means even when there is a toothache mother will not be given medicine why because it may affect the child now all of you know this so let me say you think about that alone from 1 gram that now we have seen all the pictures in the different slides i shown you from 1 gram to 4 and 1/2 kg the mother is bearing mother cannot turn the body as she like cannot sleep comfortably cannot take medicine against illness that alone that is right നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഗർഭമാകും വലിയ ചുമടെടുക്കുന്നതിൻ പോലെ തീർക്കാവൽ എത്ര യോഗ്യൻ മകനും അത് നിലയ്ക്കുള്ള നിഷ്ഠതി മുന്നതോ അപ്പി തനയസ്തസി എത്ര മകനാവട്ടെ മകളാവട്ടെ എത്ര യോഗ്യരാണെങ്കിലും ഈ ഗർഭപാതത്തിന്റെ വില കൊടുക്കാനാവില്ല ഹൗ ഡിഡ് യു എൻജോ ദിസ് ആർ യു ക്ലിയർ ദി മദർഹുഡ് yes sir yes sir yes sir uh, and uh, this uh, pictures actually this particular pictures this you can see in the kalimanna film of uh, blessy this is my friend i contributed all these things uh, for the counseling work uh, required for uh, shweta menon and uh, uh, thanks to jaisendran you saw in that picture this pictures you can see in the kalimanna kaliman film now you should understand the importance of all this learning now uh, if you have got any doubts uh, please ask me i will clear or i will continue the class you tell me so we studied many things today the nature nurture concept the cognition the motherhood the in utero life now today i have covered the in utero life uh, by 10th uh, fifth day i will be covering most of the portions it will be comfortable to you but you study all the concepts of them without knowing the meaning uh, nobody can understand anything the memory concepts everything you have to study start working on it so shall i continue the class today now or you have got a doubt yes sir yes sir yes sir please yes sir, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. now with uh, next year also i'll come with a uh, few of the slides because uh, though nothing will be retained in the brain in your memory now the purpose of any type of counseling uh, as a psychologist is concerned it's actually called a four step model that is attainment or acquisition process retention process behavior production process and reinforcement and motivational process that's what when a person is brought to you either a student we can take two examples a student is brought for behavioral issues academic issue for the marital issue whatever it be when a child is brought or a person a client is brought to you you are supposed to provide a certain knowledge a help the person acquire no behaviors to replace the existing troubling behaviors then 
whatever learned that's why even diary writing is uh, may be required with the client whatever learned the child has to retain and the behavior production process that means every day some behavior will be there and that such behavior cannot be contrary to the retained one i will come back to you with uh, more explanations and then comes the reinforcement or motivation for the benefit that means the benefit that a person will be get so what i'm trying to tell you sir take the case uh, you students as my clients now you students as a student you know in my class uh, now i think around 700 students have registered for this batch yeah igno is igno kochi is having the highest traffic and we are proud of it okay now as my students just i'm asking you my students may be uh, in the some students used to call me sir i am 21 years what is scope of studying this so sometimes 80 year student also may be there in the class but whatever we are students now so attainment or acquisition process means the lagging why many of the students they join half of the students will complete more many students may complete after four years because certain acquisition process is not taking place in them attainment or acquisition process that means put in malayalam chanda purthu kolu vachadathukka povva that means wherever there is a celebration there is a function if the student goes there student is are most of the students are already employed family burden is there lot of other things are there already covid proper classes you may not be getting though we are trying hard to do everything so suppose the child is not the student in the your case our our own students he is not trying to change the behavior so there is no attainment or acquisition process that means you should stop going out now the going out is not there spend a lot of time before whatsapp youtube it is there in all of you I just i am asking you sincerely am i right or not yes sir yes sir is right that's what for any counseling that you may require that's what i'm telling development psychology alone can't help you you need to club all your knowledge from all purpose then work with it so that's why i wanted to club but two development theories as i discussed i am trying to do this maybe when i am sharing the video it may not be exactly in the same way but uh, you uh, it is bifurcated in a different way may mostly i am trying to follow this pattern so what you should decide i should acquire certain new things that means i will see Uh, WhatsApp or uh, take my mobile for the purpose of seeing entertainment, everything half an hour in the morning, half in the evening, or what do you fix and fix uh, it to one uh, one hour. Then retention process means you have to every day follow this. Okay, today I am sick. I am not in the mood uh, to look into the when academic portions my syllabus. no if you can look into the mobile you can also see the some headings of your text also now behavioral protection process that means any behavior contrary to this should not be produced the behavior protection should be conducive to what is retained or what is attained so certainly what will be the benefit the enforcement or motivation process that's by end of this class i'll be proving it before you that using this two theories you can apply it today itself so the benefit will be that you will be able to make use of your time and by after one week by the time i complete uh, uh, your classes by next tuesday i believe that's three days continuous two days break will be there because some of you wanted to go for this uh, counseling programs well internship program etc i understand so the benefit will be if you follow this for one week 
you will come you will wonder you would have completed many portions so we will come to that so i am just asking are you clear about the pavlovian theory okay let me ask okay. you the same yeah. question should answer me now i am not seeing the person what are the five uh, components of uh, pavlovian theory everybody is mute you said you are clear about the pavlovian theory i wanted to know how to apply it in a child or you yourself as a student how to apply it because i did my msc in applied psychology we used to study with a very concept uh, whatever we studied we have to apply so without applying no meaning in studying this theories can you uh, say which are the five uh, postulations made by sir uh, neutral neutral stimulus okay unconditional okay. and uh, conditional okay. uh, stimulus okay. and unconditional conditional okay. responses that is why uh, my dear friends i am not blaming any one of you unless there is a study in a particular way that which you can apply it i am trying to do it now just listen to me. what pavlov did sir okay tell me tell me Hello. You always, I am always remembering this case. Excuse me, sir. Your voice is <laughs> breaking. You are not audible to us. Okay, sir. I don't know. Maybe because of net problem, I got. Uh, may is it clear? Uh, is it the same problem with everyone? No, sir. No, sir. I can no, hear. No, sir. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, I think uh, here I got uh, this particular purpose only. I took uh, connection. the optical fiber at my end there cannot be any problem you check at your end now uh, look here my dear friends what uh, pavlov did pavlov actually how it happened you know that's what the first slide pavlov when he joined for his pg studies he was assigned a duty that how uh, the salivation takes place uh, in us when we are hungry for example now it is one quarter now it is one quarter isn't it now suppose most of you may be hungry i'm just asking maybe that you can uh, mute uh, the video and uh, you can eat something suppose you are not able to eat and you are sitting sincerely before i hope you are sincerely sitting and suppose you are very hungry and other family members are have a taking delicious uh, biryani and all that the smell comes uh, comes out and when you smell what will happen you will salivate there will be secretions in the stomach why this is taking place that was the question that is the project given to pavlov so what that's why pavlov took though he is postulated five conditions he took uh, three decades to complete it now what is that so how he did, did know on sitting his clinic he came to know that uh, there's a dog man feeding the dog so he himself become the dog man that's why when you do your research work you may try to copy the project but they sincerely wanted to work i'm not blaming all of you but many students may be taking that much may not be taking that much effort what he did was he rang a bell after a stipulated time of one uh, one minute or less than one minute he served the food the dog did not understand why the bell was rang now he continued this uh, every day at a particular time he served the food after ringing the bell the dog did not understand but he continued it for several times on the ninth day till eighth day the dog did not understand why the bell was rung and food was served but on the ninth day the dog did not wait for the food immediately on listening the ringing of the bell it salivated so that is why he said all behaviors are acquired whether it's good bad desirable or undesirable adaptive or maladaptive neat and tidy bullying and fear all these behaviors are learned it doesn't mean that genetics has no no meaning genetics has 
But his theory, but that's what I'm telling. Every theory is relevant. Most of the smoking, drinking behaviors are environmental only, learning only. So this is first demonstration. Second one is that extinction. So here's a spelling mistake. I forgot to correct it. Extinct. Every time when we copy, the old slides come. So extinct only. So all such acquired behaviors can also be extinct. What he did, you know, he after some three four months, till yesterday he was ringing the bell and serving the food. This time, what he did, he rang the bell, but no so food was served. But the dog salivated because till yesterday, the dog was getting the experience of getting the food. I mean, uh, was having the experience of getting the food immediately on ringing of the bell. So, so the dog salivated. Second day also, the dog the dog did not get food on bell, uh, ringing of the bell. The dog salivated. But after a few times, the drops came down. When there was many drops, it came to one drop. Then finally, within a week, the dog stopped salivating. So now the dog learned that any such behaviors also can be stopped. But environment, effort, environment, environmental conditioning, better cognition. Such as say, that's why I'm telling. The word the cognition, now we are very clear because when you use... Uh, uh, listen to my class with a picture that is a cylinder type as well as a half circle. Now, better cognition must be there. Without that, the extension stopping is not possible. So, that is what you, when I take you as the clients, you take two conditions. What you learned actually, oh, many of my academics was like that. I was always studying at the last minute, only after getting the timetable, I used to. Uh, open the books. Am I right or not? Many people are like that. No? So this is what acquisition. We have a learning that our 10th, I'm not blaming all, many students are like that. Even I myself maybe when I'm taking, I used to take up studies regularly. So sometimes I may be overconfident. Okay, I've been studying all this time. I will study. No, verbatim studies is taking place. So all behaviors, your learning behavior is also acquired. So I, I took your permission to apply a theory with regard to the child development. So I, as a, or a student development, as a student, you, what is your behavior? We don't uh, study in a systematic way. I mean, without understanding the meaning, you cannot uh, uh, memorize. Still, you may assume the meaning and study. Every day you may not study. So all these I will be covering by next class through Skinner and Theory. So all, it, it can be stopped, but effort from effort, there should be some effort from you and better cognition. You should have a thought. Okay, already it is COVID times. Some relaxation is there for our practical. We need not have to go to university. All these are blessing. Most of us are sitting in the uh, ho sitting at home. Though there could be some financial problem issues, let me study. So the, that cognition, thought, uh, will help us uh, improve. But uh, Pavlov, the third uh, postulation of Pavlov is that what prevents the person from changing? What prevents the person from changing? So his next experiment was he did the first experiment. That is this first experiment. That is. Ringing of the bell. The third experiment was the first experiment. When third time he uh, experimented the first one. So he again rang the bell and served the food. That is after three, four months, he stopped. And after stopping it for uh, maybe for uh, as a research inside, maybe one month or two months, he again rang the bell and served the food. At the, the earlier you see the picture. It took several times means uh, it is uh, ninth time. Now, after stopping the behavior, when the old behavior was uh, all, all the old experiment was put before the dog, the dog salivated the third time. So you can see the third time the dog began salivating. So he said the major threatening changing behavior is 
spontaneous recovery of their learned behavior. Whatever we learned, it comes fast. Smoking, drinking, etc. It comes fast because of the learned behavior. So in, in spite of the cognitive work I did, uh, I mean all the four uh, systems I told you, acquisition or acquisition, retirement, I mean, retirement, behavior production and motivation, all the things you will, uh, you agree with me, but unfortunately you may go back to your uh, video, mobile, uh, film, YouTube, etc, etc. That is why the major threat in change in the behavior is spontaneous recovery. That is why on the 31st of uh, December, Many people take a decision that this is my last puff, last drink. What happens after one week? People go back to the same behavior. So the second year, how it can be, the therapy can be done, will be taught. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. The second major threat, the second major threat and change in the behavior is generalization. You try to justify your behavior. That is. In this experiment, in addition to the ringing of the bell, uh, he placed a, a dozen or a more than a dozen uh, stimuluses like timepiece, bulb, telephone, violin, etc., etc. So he taught the dog to train the dog to salivate against any of this stimulus. Now the dog is awaiting for any such stimulus plus there are its own stimulus because uh, the dog is trained to get food only at that particular time. Otherwise the dog, dog won't get food. So it is awaiting for a stimulus. So likewise the same is the reason. Um, see for example a person who want to drink. Uh, one day he will say uh, since he was very sad he had to drink yesterday. Uh, today he would say there's a happy event uh, function in the evening, so I must drink. Another day he would say that uh, I've been taking the privilege of drinking and eating with my friends every day. Today I need to celebrate for them. So this is what you may be laughing now. That is, this is what. Why get on the everybody? By evening you have to drink. Or for smokers would say, oh, without uh, taking a smoke, I cannot concentrate. So or some excuse they will try to generalize. Same way you can experience the same thing. This child is not interested in studies. You can experiment. You, many mothers would agree with me that uh, a child is not interested in his studies. What the child would say? Uh, Today I am not well. I want to take water. I want to go to bathroom. Or the child will come with some story in this school and spoil the time. Or even when the child is... Uh, uh, even when uh, a, a visitor, a relative is coming home, uh, there's a function, the child is happy, I will not be asked to do the homework, I'm free now. Uh, did you experience all these things, what I discussed? Yes, sir. This is what. So yes, generalization, so the major, two major threats in changing the behavior, so all behaviors are quiet, so that's what, the five things I told you, I asked you to remember, this is anybody is asking. A psychology PG student must be able to tell. So, which are the four five postulations? Acquisition, extinction, spontaneous recovery, generalization, then finally the discrimination. So, here what he did after training the dog to salivate against a dozen stimuluses, the dog is trained to salivate only against the bell alone. Finally, that's why he took 30 years with many animals, with the men, human beings also he trained. But you can see how we train in the schools, uh, the Janakadamana or the assembly or the eating of the snacks, uh, ringing of the bell there, single bell, enter to the class, uh, two bell, you can go home. Likewise, all these are learning only. So what the best example uh, Pavlo is telling is that, uh, look at the red light. Look at the red light, traffic light. So why we stop? You may say the traffic rules. Oh, how we are always uh, willing to violate the uh, traffic uh, rules. But we are worried about that's why even a criminal uh, running uh, on fear of the police will not cross a heavy traffic because when red is there, he will not cross. He may throw away his scooter and uh, run away. Why? Because uh, that will be his last drive in heavy traffic when 
uh, goods lorries are passing uh, against their green when you crow if you cross the red border level if the traffic is very less we will try to violate we are all doing it but it's not advisable as a teacher i'm telling you but once in a while on a sunday early morning we may do but in heavy traffic even a thief won't do it because a robber won't do it because it will be less that's what this contribution of travel of that you must be able to discriminate so my dear students uh, i hope you enjoyed but you understand you should uh, discriminate many students are maybe uh, expecting a better career after taking psychology but you see i am also in the interview board of bharti vidyavan on many places suppose my own students are coming after four years with a certificate whereas uh, on two year or two and a half year many students complete the course so naturally we will be selecting them early so you have to be studious who have very good knowledge they will be asking many questions and uh, maybe you are getting uh, job opportunity in schools so maybe in the family counseling government even aid centers that you may get but for the interview you must be able to understand things in a better way including medical knowledge is required so the the, I, the question i asked was that the five application of this pavlovian theory including in your education so when you practice you try to practice today itself what all things we studied we studied a concept called nature nurture find no fault in others or the motherhood the cognition lot 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 of many things we studied today will you apply all this from today onwards